One other question. Um, ICE uh, is responsible to, to take a, a family unit, I guess, and put them at a bus stop. Uh, and I guess some of that was going on in Arizona. Is that happening anymore? Um, <clears throat> my understanding is that um, with regard to Nogales, the people that we are, the, the, the individuals we are now sending there are, are the UACs, the unaccompanied children who under the law have to go to HHS, whether it is possible that we need to send more family units to Nogales for processing, I, I wouldn't say and I can't rule that out. But my understanding is that since about June 1st, we've been sending principally, if not exclusively, the unaccompanied children to Nogales for processing. When ICE uh, takes a family unit uh, to a bus stop and drops them off there uh, with a uh, order to appear at some place in time, uh, what care is being taken to ensure that that's actually a family unit? Uh, we, we hear anecdotal evidence that uh, some 16-year-old will say, well, I, I belong to that family, and they get to the bus stop and, and say, see you later. Um, is, is ICE required to do some kind of due diligence to make sure that that actually is a family I'm, I'm unit? Sure, I'm sure there's some type of protocol in place to ensure that a group of people who claim to be a family unit are in fact a family unit, but I sitting here don't know what that is. Okay.